Um, Benjamin Franklin always said, you can do well by doing good for your community. And my parents repeated that uh, mantra. And so uh, I would agree that there was an expectation that you would contribute back and that you were part of a whole and that you had to contribute and pull your load. I've, I've known Glenn and Chris literally all my life. Just have known them as, as fine, upstanding people. Definitely committed to Shreveport Bossier. Uh, definitely committed to Northwest Louisiana. Their families, their churches, their businesses. The Kinsey family has always uh, been very community minded. I think the family's always been that way, and certainly Glenn and Chris have, have continued that legacy. Really, our role is one of stewardship, um, and so we're trying to create opportunities for the next generation. So this is a passing of the baton. It's important for folks to understand the, the depth of Kinsey interests. It's a world-class uh, organization, and that's by design. They've worked at it, and they continue to work at it. Their dad worked at it. They put their money where their mouth is. They invest in local companies, they help startups and, and, and people that are trying to expand. And, and by doing so, they've, uh, they've created a lot of good quality local jobs and been responsible for contributing and, uh, and also the creation of a lot of capital formation. Look at what the, uh, the Kinsey's have done around town in a way that they, even if they don't put their name on it, they probably don't put their name on it. That doesn't matter. They're there and, you know, I look out at the port and the things that have happened at the port and I'm just, you know, I'm blown away. And, and very often the Kinsey's name will come up in the background. So you know that they're, they're not only putting their money where their mouth is, they're doing it without recognition. And the thing about them, they don't just give money. You know, it's, it's okay to write a check. You know, I mean, that's great. You, you gotta have people that will donate money. But, but Chris and, and uh, Glenn and the family, uh, Mr. Kinsey, they, they, they contribute their time. And that time is the most valuable thing we have. I think that they have been traditionally uh, very, very significant philanthropic uh, people. These are economic development issues that are important that need seed money and support for jobs and then the very basis of our community and the economy here and then you that slides over into the social side and then the cultural side. Glenn is very committed to uh, the projects and the, the, the philanthropies that he's interested in. Glenn exemplifies leadership. He's humble, but has great business acumen. He's patient. He's focused. He has a, a wonderful ability to problem solve. And with his focus and his tenacity, he can get to the core of a complex issue and translate it with ease. He is extremely interested in the continued economic development of our community, including uh, being a part of finding and hiring the most recent director of an LEP. You know, when you look at his involvement more on a state level with organizations like Cable and PAR, he's not involved in things that are going to necessarily um, improve his business situation, but he's more interested in, you know, what's good for the community as a whole, and um, those are the kind of people that we really need in Shreveport Bossier right now. That I would say his faith is something that is very strong and uh, is uh, underlies as a, a foundation for his life and, and his family and, and what he does. And well, that's not juicy. At all. I know that's not juicy, but uh, it's really more important, though. <laughs> <laughs> Since I've been at the Community Foundation and through Glenn's leadership, we have really started to look to make more proactive grants and taking the data that we have about the community, seeing where we could plug in and would be needed the most and finding nonprofit partners that could actually um, 
start to chip away at the issues that we see. And it's amazing to see a man of so many talents, but when you see Glenn, the person, he's exemplary in his caring nature and his kindness and his generous spirit. One of those activities is on the, the actual Long Lake Owners uh, Board of Directors. You probably know the Kinsey's and the O'Briens developed all that. It was important to them and to Glenn particularly, I think, to maintain the natural beauty of the lake and um, one of the things I admire about him. And I always find it fascinating that Glenn has five daughters and that he and Ellen seem to be so relaxed <laughs> despite the fact that they have five daughters. And on behalf of all of those that we serve here at Holy Angels, I want to thank Glenn. We deeply thank you for sharing your expertise, your talent, and your wonderful generosity with all of us at Holy Angels. You help us impact the lives of many that we serve. And also want to congratulate you for this very appropriate and well-deserved and yet very distinguished award. Congratulations, Glenn. Now, Chris is, Chris is cut out of a mold um, that frankly um, hardly survived the early 20th century, much less the 21st. The museum explorer and hunter, that conservationist that was probably best uh, exemplified in, in President Theodore Roosevelt. Chris is a member of the Explorers Club, which is a, a remarkably elite accomplishment, has contributed considerably to the, to the holdings of the Smithsonian. We're very similar in a couple of things. One thing is he's gone to Africa on safari, I know, uh, 30 times. And like, I've probably been to Gillum 30 times. And so we're very similar in that, but, but uh, you know, we're not, we're well-traveled, both of us. <laughs> you know? Chris has a marvelous sense of humor, a sophisticated sense of humor. And uh, the uh, timing of the one word here, there, and yonder is uh, just marvelous. Um, you know, Chris is uh, a very generous person. I mean, some of these things are, that are obvious to me, to the public, his generosity, his giving of his time. Uh, he talked about the Boy Scouts, has worked very hard in that area. Um, I think he has helped to set an example that many people would like, would hope to follow. I think anyone who talks about Chris in a business or a personal sense will say he's, he's, um, he's a good guy and he's honest. And, and Chris is a great uh, sportsman, and if if I could use that word, I was on a dove hunt with Chris in Dilly, Texas, and we were walking along a road, and all of a sudden he identified some tracks as uh, snow monkey tracks in Dilly, Texas, in South Texas, and of course we all ridiculed him, and, and we knew that was just complete bunk; it couldn't be snow monkeys. And uh, we come back to Shreveport a few days later in the Wall Street Journal, there's an article about uh, a, a snow monkey refuge in, in, in South Texas that had suffered um, uh, the effect, uh, devastating effects of a storm and, and a lot of their residents had escaped. And it was about a few miles from where we were and those really were snow monkeys. We've had some, we've had some moments where in our travels being locked down in a tent together for three or four days in you know 20 below zero there's some stories that aren't fit for public consumption but you know you uh, turn around and like two bad little boys you grin and say "Ooh, I hope mama doesn't hear about this there's been a bunch of those well Chris has also set an example as a good family man loves his son loves his wife and really uh, takes the time to to be the kind of father we would we would hope to be. Chris is really a very loyal person. He's a kind person, and if you're if you're Chris's friend, then he's a loyal friend. I can speak from personal experience. If your ox gets in a ditch, Chris um, Chris is a good friend. You can count on him to be your friend, and. Uh, he did some things for me that were so kind, that were so meaningful to me, that I will carry them to my grave. And uh, that's just the kind of person he is. Chris is rock solid. He's a moral 
uh, a good Christian example, a good friend. I, I think so much of Chris. He's uh, he's just a he's a good kind of person. If if my boys would grow up like Chris Kenzie, I'd be a very proud father. <laughs>